Artificial intelligence and art. Could artificial intelligence already be used to produce good art? What are the connections between art and artificial intelligence? It's an exciting topic and when you dive into it, you will discover that there are thousands of people all over the world already producing artificial intelligence art. Let's take a look at the most famous ones. There is for example Refik Anadol. Refik Anadol produces art with machine learning technology. So he feeds data into the machine and he lets the machine produce art. For example, one important artwork was he fed in wind data and then let the machine animate the wind data. This really good looking structures came out of it. And then he projected those structures onto the museum building. And what he says is he lets the machine and the building dream. So he produces those dream-like pieces, which look really amazing. Another artist is Song Wang Chung. She fed the AI with her own paintings and then she connected a robot arm to the machine. And then suddenly the machine could draw paintings like herself or in her style. So what she's doing now is she's painting with the machine together. So, so she's combining her style with machine learning and at the same time producing art with the machine together. It's a really nice way of working together when humans and machine work together. Another important person is Anna Riedle. She combined artificial intelligence with economic topics with blockchain technology. So what she did was she photographed 10,000 tulips. Then she let the machine animate those tulip pictures. So she used the machine learning algorithm to animate those pictured tulips. And then she connected those animations with the Bitcoin price. So if the Bitcoin price moves up, the tulips become more colorful. If the Bitcoin price comes down, the tulips lose color. So she combines those topics, capitalism, value, destruction, speculation, and so on. It's a reference to the big tulip mania. The tulip mania was a speculation bubble, one of the first in economic history. And back then there was a speculation bubble going on. The prices of tulips was going up, 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 up. At one point you could buy a real house for just one tulip and then the bubble burst and then came the economic breakdown. She takes reference to this mania back then and when she shows in her art the speculation going on nowadays with the Bitcoin price. Really nice artwork. And the best thing about it is she also now sells those artworks as NFTs, as non-fungible tokens again. So she combines all those technologies and has a really good story behind it, I would say. Pindar van Armen tries to teach the machine creativity. He also uses artificial intelligence to combine styles. First of all, he combines those styles but the machines have become better and better and better in now maybe even creating their own styles. The important stuff is the code in his paintings. And then he uses robots arms, which are actually quite cheap to produce, to bring this code generated art onto the canvas. So his goal is to produce robots which can produce art autonomously. One of the most important AI paintings is called Edmond de Bellamy because it's the most expensive AI artwork so far. It has been sold by Christie's for about $400,000. AI art has really become mainstream already. It's being sold by famous auction houses. There is a whole community on the internet. But the question is, could we produce AI art ourselves? So a good site to start is the site aartists.org. This is a huge community of artists who are producing artificial intelligence art. And they have a lot of resources there. They have like all those artists, featured artists, for example. So you can really take a look at all those AI artists that are existing already. 
and you have here those resources where you find creative AI tools. So there's a list of tools you can already use today for producing your own AI art. One thing I found here was the Deep Dream Generator. So I already made an own account. It was free. You get like stuff here and let's just produce some artwork here. So let's upload this nice picture of myself. So you choose a style. Let's take this famous Japanese artwork here. I like that one. The AI is calculating. Oh my God. So this is what the AI produced. This is obviously me in this special Japanese style. Let's download it. Let's try that again. So Van Gogh is painting me now. So the site is called the Deep Dream generator.com and you get like a few free pictures to produce yourself here Ooh, not bad not bad i mean the question is why is this different from any instagram filter i would put over my picture but obviously there is something else happening here because the ai combines two different styles of artwork so i guess it's more complicated here so that was deepdreamgenerator.com. Let's try another one. The other one is called artbreather.com. Extend your imagination and they also have some nice opportunities here. Let's create a free account. So I've created a few artworks down here already, which I really, really like myself. Here we find a picture I've uploaded of myself but let's create a new picture starting from my own picture click on portraits click on upload click on the uploaded one and now i can change this picture actually oh my <laughs> oh <laughs> wow that's so creepy so the question remains, is this already AI art? Is it me producing the art? Is it the machine producing the art? If you only click one button and the AI produces art, who produced the art? Is it the machine or is it you? Those are the questions. What do you think about this topic? Let us know in the comments below. Try those programs yourself. Follow for more videos on AI and blockchain. See you in the next video.